Hey guys, Anthony from Slid Roll, and today we're gonna to be interviewing a product I got off Amazon. It is the skate knife tool, and we have a professional here, Eric from Edubs. He's gonna set up the, uh, the Slid Roll deck today with the skate knife tool. They say that it's all you need to set up a skateboard, so it's everything included. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can set it up with just this uh, skate knife tool. So, I got the fancy little skate knife box here. and we'll Do a little unpacking, see what it looks like. So you can see the little product image. This is pretty cool. It looks like a standard pocket knife. Um, has a cool little pocket clip. I guess you can, you know, clip it onto your pocket here so you won't lose it. It's nice, good compact pocket size. It's gonna be coming in handy. Yeah. So. Looks like a flashlight, like, but it's not. Yes. Got your Allen wrench key for Allen wrench hardware. And the uh, Phillips head for Phillips hardware. And this in. Have a little pop out wrench for your hardware, for your actual, um, for your hardware bolts. And this little pop out wrench for your kingpins. Tighten, tighten the your kingpins. Yeah. Okay. And you got this part for your axles. And looks like we got the actual knife to cut the grip with. So let's get to it to see how it works. So first we're gonna go ahead and grip the board. So we'll take apart this grip here. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna check it out. Kind of see how everything works. Seems pretty handy. Put it on here. I would look really cool at the skate park with this. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty tough. If anybody messes with me, it has a blade on it, so you know. Yes. Can fix a board and shank somebody. <laughs> Dual purpose. I mean, if you're ever at the park and like you're a your skateboard completely falls apart, like wheels and everything, then you know, you're good to go here. Absolutely, you don't have to carry around like, because it is kind of annoying, because I have my backpack I carry, and I have like a screwdriver, have all my wrenches, have everything, so that's like all you need. The giant bummer. He's a professional. I'm getting there. <laughs> and you, grip tape is a bit of a process. I promise you, you'd do better than I would. So, This is only like 17 bucks for really? Amazon, so. It's not yeah. bad. I mean, you consider like all the tools that are in there, if you buy them separately, I mean, it's gonna be well over $17. Um, Cause you have your standard skate tool, what they call the skate key, yeah. but it doesn't have near as much. I mean, it's yeah. basically a wrench. There's basically three sets of wrenches and sometimes it comes with a screwdriver. Yeah. But it doesn't come with like everything in there. When I bought it, I was curious how it was gonna work cause I know you have to hold the screw and the bolt so right. having the detachable thing that makes sense yes so. yeah it's gonna be a bit tricky with that but we'll see we'll see huh we'll see how it goes because typically on most skate keys they do it the other way around the screwdriver comes out and the wrench is attached oh yeah not like that so so i got the grip on this first test we'll see how we can uh how we can basically press the grip to the board um, usually you need a separate tool for that. We usually a screwdriver or a file or, or something or like something. that. Yeah. So this, we're going to be able to have to choose, you know, what we're going to use. I'd say probably the best thing to use is the round end, the end of either the screwdriver or the sound wrench key. Yeah. I think this is going to work fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure to the edge of the board here. So that actually not only gives me a better guide, makes it easier for the grip to cut, but it also like forms the grip to the board and protect it from bubbles or anything like that or protect it from peeling up when it comes on. All right, so. Well, as we're walking in the dead of night, it's our first date and we have our first fight. You said something. So.
so I got the line formed all the way around the grip. You can see that. So now I'm going to see we can get the knife out and see how good this is going to cut. Hopefully they came with a sharpened blade. Right. Uh, if it's a dual blade, it's going to be really hard to cut <laughs> that grip. <laughs> we'll see. Here we go. Hold it. Yes. This actually cuts really nicely. Oh, no. Yeah, this is smooth. Just don't cut your arm off. I got two. That didn't really mean. I said some things that were really mean. Now I got two hands in my pockets. One should be holding yours. You don't have any pockets in your trendy shorts. That means now we have the grip on. Um, this actually is kind of a weird common problem that you have, especially if you're putting on your own grip, like if you're out like at the park or something, mm -hmm. and you have to put on a new board together and you put on your grip. This is really annoying because you know you have the hardware holes. You can see on the grip, there's no holes. Yeah. So that's really hard sometimes to find somewhere somehow to uh, be able to poke those holes because this grip is pretty thick. You can't just get like a hardware screw or anything to poke it through without it bubbling up. So something i notice about this is they're small enough here like the uh, phillips head this is perfect or even an allen wrench tool maybe well i mean it has a little bit of a sharp, oh, end, sharp end there yeah. so it's like so it doesn't like press the grip tape up it will go like piercing and go right through it so that way we can poke our holes in there and don't have to worry about that Yep. So now we got the hardware holes. You can also go on the other side and kind of press it down in here. So kind of stretch those holes out a little bit. Because if you put hardware through the grip tape with these holes, you can, you know, for the first time, it's it's hard to get them through sometimes. So this just kind of stretches the holes out. So it makes it a lot easier to get the hardware in. Now, on to the hardware. Okay, hardware's over there. So, we just happen to have E-Dubs Medic Pack. Um, our E-Dubs Medic Pack comes with everything you need. One and one eighth inch riser, one and uh, eighth inch riser, sorry, and one and one eighth inch hardware. A sticker, yes, a little e dub sticker. So, what's also cool about the e dubs hardware is it comes with one green bolt along with all your silver bolts, so you can put this to, so you can differentiate between the nose and the tail really quickly while you're out skating without having to flip your board over and look every time. So, I usually put the green bolt on back. Doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. Nothing to put your hands into, so you stick your thumbs through your belt loops. Standing in line at the picture show, I'm surprised that you still want to go. But you like the way I hold the door for you And I like the way you look when you walk through Now I got one hand on the armrest One is holding yours And we're not paying attention to the motion picture So I'll spend $20 on popcorn and a coat And for the next two hours I'll hold you close Knocking signs on binary and placing it on your hand but With the rest of my money I'll buy a little house Where our family can begin Where we'll have four hands on the front porch And eight paws in the yard and for the rest of our lives We will hold my heart 
now that we got all our hardware in place, now it's time to tighten up the bolts here. So, you see, we pull out that wrench. That's nice. There we go. Pull out the hardware wrench and we'll get the screwdriver. So with this, we'll hold the nuts and screw it on here on this tiny little wrench. You used to stop by when times were alive. October 31st and New Year's Eve nights. We sat on the porch, I would run back and forth. Sometimes you'd leave without saying goodbye. So now I'm gonna put everything back up here. I gotta fit that little wrench back in so you don't lose this thing. Yeah, so that's just screws in back in. Yes. So I'm gonna take that out. And then it goes back in like that. All right, so now we have our axle nut. We're gonna use and twist this off. Pop the wheel on, already have the bearings in. Put it back on. So, it's kind of, it turns, it's easier to turn with this. I mean, it's kind of a little tricky to get a grip on it, but it turns well. There's one more thing we need to check though. We need to loosen and check the truck, make sure they're loosened, tight okay. enough. So I'm gonna kind of use this wrench. Where did it go? This wrench here to kind of see, test that out, how that works. Um, and I know you probably like yours written a, a, little, a certain way. So I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit and I'll put it right back the way it was. Hmm. Loosen? Yes. Well, they're really tight. I like my truck's really tight. Okay. 
And there we go. All right, so that is the skate knife. So now tell me, should everybody rush out right now to uh, Amazon and buy this thing? Okay, so I'll give thoughts. my honest opinion. I'll give my honest pros and cons, what I liked about it, what I did not like about it. Um, I'll start out with the pros. First, you know, it's small, it's convenient. You have everything in one. Everything can fit in your pocket. You don't have to carry around a bunch of different random tools. Mm -hmm. um, has a nifty little belt clip and the knife pocket clip you can fit right in there. That's one of the things I like about it. I mean, it is convenient. It's small, it's lightweight. You don't have like all this bulkiness. Um, and the knife, when I was cutting the grip tape, it cuts super smooth. I mean, it cut just as smooth as like razor blades that we use to cut grip tape with. Mm -hmm. So I really like the knife. I really like the small screwdriver that can go in like use for the grip tape holes. I like that they do have the Phillips head and the Allen wrench. So if you have Allen wrench hardware or Phillips head hardware, you can use either one. Okay. So now to the cons, what I did not like about it like this, um, the little wrench I had to use for the uh, mounting hardware was really small and it was really hard to get a grip on it. And so when I was trying to turn it, it made it really difficult and made it you know take a lot longer. Most skate tools have the, uh, the actual hardware wrench on the tool, not like a separate little wrench. And another thing is when it pops out, you saw that that was a tiny little wrench. Mm -hmm. That thing can get lost really easily. It can fall out. Yeah. And if you don't have that, it's, this thing is kind of, you know, you're kind of screwed. You can't, you can't use, you know, the out for the, for the hardware. Yeah. Um, and another thing I did not like is the Phillips head they have on there itself. This thing is, it's really small. It's a lot smaller than what we typically use for the hardware. So if the hardware is stripped out even a little bit, this is going to slip. And I can already see almost where this thing is starting to strip as well, like on the actual screwdriver. So I'm not a fan of this screwdriver as well. Um, another thing that I found I did not like for the axle nuts. See how shallow it is in there in the axle nut? Mm -hmm. I was already starting to have a problem. If your axle sticks out just a little bit too much, it's not going to go all the way on that nut oh, because yeah. of how shallow it is. It's going to prevent it from this axle. And also the um, the kingpin, the kingpin wrench. I wasn't a fan of that because it's way too thin. And when it was on there, it like didn't want to go all the way down over that nut. And so it just kept slipping and stripping and it wouldn't like get a really good grip on there. Um, like most tools have an actual wrench like that. And that's what you really need to get a good grip. So all in all, in my opinion, I think the traditional skate tool is the way to go. So the way to would, better. So you would not buy? I would not. All right. I would stick with the traditional skate tool. But again, that's my opinion. I mean, it is a really cool thing to have, and I actually wouldn't mind having one of these to keep around, to keep in my bag or my pocket, because it really does come in handy. But for the money, I would stick with the traditional skate tool. All right, so there you have it. So don't go out and buy the skate knife. <laughs> Sorry. But I mean, it was kind of cool, kind of a cool item to, to, to review. Um, so that was it, thanks for watching. So we will have another review coming up soon. Um, a skateboard headlight. So stay tuned for that one. That'll be the next video we do. It'll be the, the we're going to do a review the skateboard headlight. So um, hope you like this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, like, check out some videos over here, and we'll see you next week. Later.